Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with meteorologist Catherine Noel. We do have Hurricane Milton, a quick look at it still. 10 miles northeast of Cape Canaveral, Florida, a Category 1 hurricane here as it continues to push east into the Atlantic, but still bringing hurricane force winds to this area, the east and central parts of Florida. As mentioned, pushing off towards the Atlantic into the coming days, really into tonight and to tomorrow, seeing little impacts by that time, but we still have a day to come of this. I mean, for us here at home, as it passes towards our south and well to our south, we are going to see some winds kick on up for us by mid to late morning wind gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour even into the afternoon starting to see the peak of them at this point so every once in a while getting in a nice breeze a noticeable breeze specifically for the upstate mountains you pretty much stay out of this so as we go through by one two three o'clock we could see some of these gusts maybe bringing down some tree limbs some trees that are still weak left over from helene you know that post Helene coverage still into play for us, maybe a lingering power line issue. Otherwise, your winds are going to start to die down and not much of an issue for us by, I would say, 6, 7 o'clock. The coast obviously getting the brunt of this from Myrtle Beach down towards Charleston. Some good winds there. Charleston seeing some upwards of close to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. And this is going to be more of the story today leading to life threatening storm surge still going to be a possibility off towards areas the eastern coast Daytona Beach seeing up to six feet even towards the South Carolina coastline the low country from Charleston down towards Savannah seeing upwards maybe of three feet for that storm surge so something we're going to keep an eye on obviously the coastline from off towards us very breezy but our winds not damaging by any means just breezy noticeable a cooler day sunshine beautiful though perfect fall October weather highs in the low to mid 70s out there all across the board a little chilly even for some throughout the morning time frame stepping out to the 50s but warming into the weekend still dry beautiful Friday Saturday Sunday high of 80 on Sunday which is going to be a change of pace from the 70s the next couple of days into next week, Monday into Tuesday, we get this front to come on through. It does look to be fairly weak in terms of any moisture, but we're going to see a big drop of those temperatures. So going from a high of 80, as mentioned on Sunday, to the 60s for us into next week. So it's going to be that sweater weather, fall like feels. Bring out the jackets, as mentioned. Keep them out, and you may not need them for just the mornings. Mornings are going to get cooler across the upstate, too, with those overnight lows in the mid-40s by Tuesday into Wednesday. Upper 30s for the overnight lows in the mountains and highs in the 50s after a beautiful weekend of the mid to low 70s. Let's see what's going on on the roads here on this Thursday morning. I know we got something